day three and they've brought in the cavalry five are here today two electricians and three plumbers an important delivery has arrived here comes the hot water cylinder and came with uh, some bits and pieces as well <laughs> yeah uni store 200 liter i think the tank is so we're back to seeing how they're getting on with the pipe work here and they started soldering a lot of the connections you can see where it's been sleeved through the wall i don't know if i showed that previously and they're starting to solder and fix all the connections so this is how they're getting it up there to the right hand side you see the 22 mil which reduces down to 15 mil and there this is where the new pipes come to those upright radiators they were running this in plastic but they did re then replace it with copper afterwards so um, the 22 mil there has gone in and been run for the uh, biggest lengths of it so this is now in the airing cupboard where the electrician's been working with some of his trunking day three let's start with what we've got in here this is the main heat pump controller gone in to the old airing cupboard and various isolators a fuse spur which i think is for the controller plug socket which will be for the wi-fi um, module and then the final switch over there oh that's for the new immersion that's going in and you can see they've added trunk in and they've run wire in which goes down to where the old boiler was so that's what's gone in in the cupboard you can't see it but these carpets and the floors have been up all day and they've run a 22 mil pipe which has connected here was run down turn 90 degrees runs through here and then it goes th that way through that wall and then spurs into where the conservatory is no work on this uh, specific piece of it today they've been doing a lot of the electric work outside which i'll show you in a bit and here you can see where the cables are coming down from the airing cupboard over here you can see where the cables will be going in through that hole at the moment we've got that one two three cables coiled up ready to go in started going into some trunk in and they started clipping it to the wall which heads over there to where you can see the existing boiler flue is here at the back of the heat pump they've connected on the flexes which come from the heat pump itself so that stops a lot of the vibration being transmitted and uh, they've brought it out at the moment into that 28 mil copper pipe and you can see they've got some of the external lagging on there up until those unions we've got two isolator valves for the feed and return hot and cold And we've got a little bit more of this external got a bit more of this external lagging but unfortunately the delivery today was meant to send 16 meters of it and the delivery today only sent two meters of it so you can see it's got like a PVC shell around the insulation foam I wonder if I can see that say on it I say something solar if that makes sense to anyone that's the type that's being used and again here's the other end of the electrics oh, some of that is already going inside some of that is feeding down to the front where it's gonna bring power and one of these will go off to the heat pump so So this is where we're at on day three. Um, they informed me that they are still outstanding a few bits. Obviously the external lagging is missing um, several meters so they can't finish that bit of the job. And they are missing now the antifreeze valves which is also a problem for connecting. But otherwise now the cylinders here, expansion vessels here and the rest of the bits and bobs showed up today with the city plumbing. Um, delivery so it's time to just crack on and finish the last bit